In this video, we're going to look at observation and particularly at practicing and honing our observational skills. In T-Touch, we recognize that there's an inextricable link between what we call tension patterns in the body and the emotional state and behavior of a dog or person. So what is it that we're looking for? The first thing we might look at is coat. Tension patterns may be indicated by changes in coat pattern. So you may see swirls in the coat, for instance, or, or waves as in this dog. You may also see color changes. You can see the lighter, rustier color in the same area of the same dog. The texture of the coat can also change. So the lighter color here is a rougher texture to the smoother and shinier areas on this dog. Another area that you may see tension patterns is in the head and jaw. So you may see tightness in the head, often indicated by wrinkles, coat changes. You may have a tight mouth with the lips drawn back or puckered. And you may have the ears pinned to the head or immobile. A third thing you can do is a hands-on observation and check for changes in temperature around the body. Look out for areas where your touch is causing concern to the dog, so it may just be expressed by moving that area away from you. You also want to look for ripples or twitches when you touch the skin. Look at the symmetry of the dog. Are the ears level or is one side higher? Check the hips. Are they level? It can be useful to look for the way the coat lies around the hips and tail. Is the pattern even? Does the tail always hang to one side or the other? Look at the dog standing. Do they stand four square or are they wide or are they narrow? Do they have a splayed stance or an imbalanced stance? Are they distributing their weight backwards? Or are they leaning forwards? And is this the same when they sit or indeed when they move? We also need to note the physiological changes, such as increased respiration and heart rate, which may result in the dog panting or drooling. Watch for shedding outside of seasonal molt. You may also see scurvy dandruff. How do you do the observation? Well, first you look at your dog moving and standing. Check the coat patterns and the colour changes. Look at posture and symmetry, weight distribution and any signs of tightness around the head or body. Secondly, do a hands-on observation over your dog's body using the back of your hand. Are there changes in texture or temperature? Is your dog comfortable being touched everywhere or are there some areas that they would rather you left alone? Does the skin ripple or twitch when you touch it? Thirdly, lift each leg very carefully in turn, holding it at the top is the weight distributed evenly or is one leg taking more or less of the strain? In this dog's case, the hind right leg was holding all her weight, hence the concern she had when it was lifted. We need to observe in order to both affect change and recognize change. So for example, observing where there is tension can guide us in which areas of the body we want to work on and it can also act as a barometer for how we or our dog is changing over time. 